Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another resin tutorial. And it is a rose gold resin tutorial because do I do any other kind? But I have made so many things lately with this rose gold blush, the rose gold foil kind of palette. And part of that is just because I like it. And part of it is because I, I want it to go in, in my house, guys. So, I made a few cutting boards. They are back in that corner. I don't know if you can see them, but I wanted some trivets to place on my countertop with the same rose gold resin kind of look, feel, pattern. I want them to match. So these trivets, I believe I picked up at Walmart and they were in like the dollar spot kind of, there's not really a dollar spot area in Walmart. But it was like a clearance shelf, so I don't know if they still have them. Maybe I got these at the dollar store. I'll put it down below, either way. They were very inexpensive. They were like a dollar trivets, so they are not like the best quality trivets, but I wanted to try it on some less expensive trivets first, and then we'll see. I'm also not 100% sure about the concept of putting a hot pot on resin, even if it is cured resin. So these may be purely decorative, but I'll try it out. I'll let you know. Either way, we're gonna get started. You're gonna need your trivets. You're going to need some resin. I used Amazing Clear Cast for this just because it is food safe after it cures and I prefer to use food safe in the kitchen. Um, even if I'm not putting food directly on it, it makes me feel a little bit better. Um, you're going to need all your safety equipment. So I'm talking your respirator, your gloves, you're going to need your colors. I believe I used rose gold blush, white, always use white, <laughs> rose gold glitter, and the rose gold flags, puppy ones to help in the video. And my heat gun, pop all those bubbles. Anything I forgot is gonna be down below. You can see the full supply list, but we are gonna jump right into this project. All right, y'all, voiceover Betsy here. So we're going to jump right in. I've sped this up because it's very slow otherwise and I am just going to start by putting some blush right on that trivet and then I'm going to come back with the other colors so I always start with my basic my solid colors blush first and then white we're just putting them on they kind of are going to blend together perfect now the rose gold with the flakes and I'm putting that right through it'll kind of part the other colors now the copper perfect and these are just kind of veins so they don't need to be perfect but I do try to make them skinnier than the solid colors and last but not least we've got the metallic copper all right so now we're gonna come back with some of those solid colors this is the blush you can see like because these trivets do have the holes in them these colors are going to run off they're going to soak into the wood that's okay so more is better you can see where i messed up right there and i do want to make sure that it's not a perfect edge but i do want to just kind of connect that so i'm going to take my little uh, spatula here just make sure everything's kind of flat on top so it's gonna dry then i gave it 24 hours we're coming back the next day and you can see the left trivet has one coat. The second trivet actually has two coats already. I experimented with this off camera. So all I'm doing there is adding some more flakes because I felt like it didn't have quite enough. And then I am going to use my heat gun to pop any of those bubbles. This is also a great tip if you're using like I am leftover resin from another project you can still use it you'll see right here this resin is starting to clump a little bit it's getting a little thicker that's okay just use your heat gun to kind of heat it back up and make it a little more um, flowy that's probably not the right word <laughs> this is a very quick video all right, so the, the heat gun's gonna activate that a little more since it started to cure and just help it kind of blend in. 
become more viscous there. Perfect. And you can see on the right that those rose gold flake layer that I'm heating up on the left here did blend in and it is merged with the rest of the colors now. Perfect. You'll also notice that this is an older project that I just never did the video for. Um, <laughs> I've got my fancy Oscar Mayer box background. This is before I got my baking pans. And so this is after a few projects and I do still have my glove on the left hand, but I've gotten my glove really dirty on the right hand and I had to take it off. I'm not touching any resin with that hand, but still probably wouldn't recommend that. Do as I say, not as I do. I don't think I do this in many videos at all. I only remember doing it once or twice. All right, so I'm coming back in. This is where I'm adding those interference colors. Um, I did want to try those on this project. That light pink is an interference violet, and it's very pretty instead of the blush on the top layer. Now I'm just blending that in a little bit. And when I'm doing the second layer, I'm trying to go over the more solid colors or glitter colors and add interest where there kind of isn't any. Like I said, don't touch that resin with your bare skin I'm using the inside of my messy glove to blend it together. Perfect. All right. Now I'm just going to heat it up and then we will let these sit for 24 hours. You'll let them cue for at least a week before you use them though. And we're all set. I can't wait to show you how they look once they're dry. <laughs> all right, y'all. Do you love them? So definitely was a learning experience and I do think I'd like to make some more of these, but let's get real close. They did turn out really pretty. I love this part. So as you saw the layer of wood, like just completely ate up, ate that first layer of resin. Wood is, is often thirsty. I mean, that's why I typically will prime um, a wooden piece before I resin it. But if you want the wood to show through, then you can't prime. And so you just have to do multiple layers. And luckily with a piece like this, multiple layers just gives you, gives you depth. There we go. Cause then you have, you know, rose gold flakes over glitter, over copper. And it's, it, it, it all turns out really pretty. Um, the things that I would change if I was doing these again is I would be a little more careful. As you can see, I did drip some resin over the wood that I was not planning to resin. <laughs> and because the wood is so thirsty, those marks stayed. I'm not super worried about it. Like unless you get close, you can't really tell and, and nobody else is going to really be that worried about it but me. I also would probably tape off the back. All those resin drips on the back left the surface with all the dots and then I did have to put on my respirator and sand them off to leave the bottom smooth since we need them to lay flat on the counter. But overall, I really like how they turned out. I definitely am going to be trying them with some hot pots and then maybe I'll update y'all and we will see. But I hope you guys liked this project. I will see you in the next one. Bye.